Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet Goblin. In today's video, I'm sharing a decent spot for BOE farming, which includes the most expensive pet in World of Warcraft Classic, and also offers a variety of valuable BOEs for phase 2. Stick around till the end of this short video, and I will introduce you 5 types of pirates in the area, along with the pros and cons of this majestic spot. Let's go. This spot is located south of Strangletorn Vale, as you can see in the video, and has a variety of mobs to farm for BOEs and the coveted pet. The most expensive item in this area, as I already mentioned, is the pet called Hyacinth Mako. Because of its very low drop chance, it's considered the rarest and the most expensive pet in World of Warcraft Classic. At the time of recording this video, it's around 300 gold on Living Flame which I believe is the cheapest you can find it up until the end of Season of Discovery. However, historically, this pet's average value has been really high, as you can see in the video. In addition to the pet, this place also contains decent epic and rare BOEs, like Basilic Hide Pants, which instantly sell on my server for around 100 gold, and I believe they are even more expensive on other servers. Continuing the video, I'll show you more loot from each type of pirate in the area and at the end, I'll mention the pros and cons of this powerful gold spot. To start the grind, we should know that there are 5 types of pirates in this area, each with a close chance to drop the pet, but the swabby mobs have a slightly higher chance to drop it. For general loots, all of these pirates have a chance to drop green BOEs and lots of other stuff as you can see in the video. Green Hills of Strangle Thorn pages also sell pretty well, especially at the end of season because people mostly do their pre-quests during that time. Blood Sail Swabby, Elder Magus, and Deck Hand, which are on the ship have a slightly higher levels and are harder to kill because they stick together. They can drop rare and epic loots as shown in the video. Swashbucklers and Warlocks are on the land and can contain the mentioned rare and epic items. In my opinion, if you don't have much gear and want to solo this farm, Warlock mobs are the best picks to grind since they are the easiest to kill and have a reasonable drop rate for the pet and also some decent epic and rare loot. But if you are doing this farm with a friend, which I strongly recommend, make sure you grind the mobs inside the ship since as mentioned, the Suabi mobs have the biggest chance to drop the pet and there are also more adds there to grind. Introducing the pros of cons of this spot, let's start with pros. This spot has by far the most expensive pet introduced to World of Warcraft Classic, and because pets don't belong to seasons, their value will grow over time. So if you couldn't or didn't want to sell it now, it will definitely increase in value since as I said, there are fewer reasons to farm this spot in later phases. Beyond the pet, this spot is very good in terms of the raw gold. The average level of mobs is decent to grind and there are BOEs that instantly get sold if you are lucky enough to get those. In terms of cons, I believe you should not specifically aim for the pet in this area. This pet is known as the rarest pet in Classic WoW and the chances you can actually get it by doing a small grinds per day is nearly zero. Another reason is that the mobs on the ship are very close together and if you are a solo grinder, you should be careful not to pull many at once. In general, if you have a character without a skinning and if you like farming BOEs with a chance of being a lottery winner, I strongly suggest this spot. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. 